Today's video is sponsored by the Deck of Many Humblewood Kickstarter. Look at that bird. Y'all ready for some D&D &D nonsense? Woo! So last we left off, a lot, a, a lot of stuff happened. In no particular order, Kinora was thrown into the fire plane after Sips went a bit crazy, got his curse removed, Woo! and passed out. Woo! Owen Sneeze is dead. Very, very dead. A concerned Gothi and Arena are huddled around Sips' unconscious body as they see the curse completely recedes. Now, they're concerned because in the group we've always kind of been worried about what would happen when we cured the curse. I mean, was it linked to Sips' consciousness? Would he become a normal monkey again? We knew that he was awakened with the magic from the curse, but I mean, this is a p campaign ran by Felix, so anything could happen. So the question was, would Sips still be Sips after? Everyone was tense and holding their breath at the answer as Sips slowly woke up. <laughs> He's fine. <sighs> oh, uh... And the longer they looked at Sips, they saw that the curse was gone, but the only thing remained was the right iris of a crocodile eye. It's kind of like a battle scar to remember the crazy times. Weep trash. What? What happened? Where's Where's Kinora? How did How did I get my hand? Why is there a portal to the fire plane? Did I miss something fun? Wait, you don't remember anything? The last thing I remember was sneeze. Crap. Oh crap. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. I rush over to my dead friend to see. Yeah, he's very dead. What happened to Kinora? Well, uh... You totally, absolutely murdered her to death. Just you, only you. We're never gonna tell him you technically killed her by throwing her into the fire plane, yeah? Oh, yeah. And they never did! Damn it. Hey, we'll get him back. All right. Also, what are you wearing? Oh, it's Kinora's. Oh my god, there's still hands in here! So the team fills in sips on the details of the fight, minus the stolen kill, and make our way to town to revive Sneeze. Oh yeah, you thought I was just gonna be all like, boo-hoo, my dead friend, and not even try to bring him back? Oh, but you're gonna have to pull him from my cold, dead hands. Anyway, we arrive to Necromart or Prayers Are Us. Necromart... Prayers are us. Necromart, prayers are us. Necromart. My friend is dead! Oh, oh, prayers are us is having a sale! We go into prayers are us, where all your prayers come true. Okay, I'll stop. Welcome to prayers are us. <laughs> Fix. That'll be 21,000 gold. <laughs> Fix for less. Do you take hands? This isn't Necromart, ma'am. So we pool all our money together, even Gothi who had some cash stashed on Jawbone. <laughs> oh yeah, and she gets her clothes back. <laughs> we pay 21,000 gold, which was pretty much all our money. How do we have 21,000 gold, you ask? Remember we used to be merchants before? We had cash. We never really bought much before anyway. If I wanted something, I'd simply just steborrow it. Anyway, we buy a resurrection and a regeneration scroll. We find a private spot outside of town and first use the regeneration scroll to, you know, fix the whole decapitation thing. Then we try the resurrection scroll. Cast it. Then a whole lot of 21,000 gold worth of nothing happens. Excuse me? Yeah. Absolutely nothing. We try it over and over again, and yeah, nada. What? Hmm, maybe he doesn't want to come back. Arena. Well, these scrolls only work if the soul is willing, right? Yeah, but... <sighs> why don't... Why don't we give Sips a minute? And then I'm just standing there, alone, with a dead friend and a $21,000 scroll that doesn't work. All right, sneeze. I know I haven't been the best friend, 
And I know I can be a bit harsh, but the world is harsh and I just... Uh, look, could you please just come back? The group needs you and I need you. Nada. Oh, come on. I just did a whole sad dialogue character thing. Then the scroll starts to stir. Then it just shoots off. Hey! Sips then starts to chase this very expensive piece of sh huh? scroll huh? to God knows where. What's going on? I don't know. Some bull huh? So everyone is just chasing this scroll till it leads us to the giant mech dragon crash site. And just magnetizes to a giant dark crystal. Now this isn't any old spooky dark crystal. Our whole group knows this crystal. It came from the dragon. A little background on how we came to acquire the giant mech dragon. You guys remember that ancient race I loosely touched on way back in episode three? Yeah. Listen up, cause this is important. So our quest in Fool's Gold has been to explore these ancient ruins owned by an ancient race called the Four Claimers that later disappeared over two and a half thousand years ago. They were known to be highly intelligent and quite tech savvy. And while exploring one of these ruins, we came across, well, the giant mech dragon. Shotgun! Yeah, turns out they built these giant metallic death machines of destruction, you know, as ancient races do, and powered them with these large crystals. Two, located in the eyes. These crystals are like batteries. The whole society used crystals to power everything. Buildings, machines, people, everything. And the ones in the dragon were the same. One was light and gold, radiating power like the sun, while the other was a bit creepier and dark. And to be honest, we didn't really know much about that one. I mean, it powered up the dragon, so we didn't really care. Until Jack came in. Ah, Jesus! What? Th what are you doing here? Well... I mean, it seems your group has no concern for the preservation of highly valuable ancient Foreclaimer tech as I have watched it plummet to the ground and explode. So yeah, I'm here to check up on it. As you all seem well, to- Well, that's great and all, but I'm kind of having an issue right now where I'm trying to use this really expensive resurrection scroll <laughs> on sneezed goddamn that it's glued on. Resurrection scroll? Yeah, I have a feeling that's not gonna work. Huh? Sneeze's soul is not in the astral plane. Alright, you better start making sense before I need to get two scrolls. Uh, well, uh, I I've been doing some research with the books you've been giving me, and with my hypothesis and notes and, uh, his soul's in the dark crystal. What? So remember we didn't really know what caused that creepy dark crystal to give off power? Yeah, it turns out it feeds on souls. Anything that dies in a 50 mile radius, instead of going to the astral plane, it's swooped right into the crystal. And with those souls, it powers the dragon. However, time spent in the crystal eventually causes the soul to be used up and destroyed. Yeah, the four claimers weren't really an empathetic race and did not give two craps about using your soul to power their death machine. This is why the scroll was drawn to the crystal. The scroll is supposed to draw in the soul, but since there was nothing to draw from, it reversed and was pulled to the soul instead. Sneeze's soul should be in that crystal. No. No, you can't- no, you can't get a soul that way. Yeah, Sips, I think you actually have to go higher. Would you stop that? In order to get a soul back, you're gonna have to go in there and grab it. You gotta open up a portal or something. Hmm. Hey. A portal, you say? Arena? I think I know a guy who can help. No. Really? Let me just- Arena, don't. Get my ring of far speech. Don't. Stop. And give him a call. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Wizardly? I'd like to welcome you to our next NPC, Mr. Wizardly. Yes, I know his name is fantastic, and I can feel your jealousy from here. Mr. Wizardly is that level 20 wizard who is all powerful and godly, but is just a lazy piece of shit that makes other adventurers do his dirty work. I need you to throw this heart into that volcano over there. Why? 
Yeah, we're never really sure about his alignment. He's always tired, he's always grumpy, and he's kind of a jerk. So, you know, like, sips. They naturally hate each other. Hey. Sips. You look different. Did you gain weight? Lost my curse. No wild magic. So now I can intentionally kill you. So what's this about? I was in the middle of doing nothing, and I really would like to get back to that. We need a portal open so we can go inside this crystal. It has my dead friend's soul in it. Oh, sorry you lost your friend thing. Uh, sneeze. Bless you. Well, all right. I'll do it, but this is going to cost you. Add it to our tab. Her tab. Mr. Wizardly bazaps open a portal to the spooky crystal plane. I can only keep it open for like five, ten minutes. So be quick. Sip's hand sneezes body over to Arena, and he and Gothi travel into the crystal plane to God knows what. Hmm. I wonder if I should have reminded them that everything they've killed up to this point will most likely be in there. Oh yeah, since you guys did kill that dragon a while back. Fuck. This video is sponsored by the Deck of Many Humblewood Kickstarter. Humblewood is a cute, fun new campaign setting for 5e D&D that includes original bird folk player races. It's got birds, you guys. Birds! Uh, it also has new monsters, magic items, and cool adventures for first and fifth level characters. Look at that face. Look at that face! Give it all your money! Any anyway, make sure to check out their Kickstarter. Link right here and in the description.